you all are aware the news is changing by the day, by the hour even, and we have a lot of questions, so we want to try to get as many answers as we can right now. A lot of you guys are sending us questions on social. I know, we and keep them coming, too, because Dr. John Torres is here. He's our NBC News medical correspondent. So we've got a lot of viewer questions, but you had a good one about, uh, we were talking about this earlier, families. What do you do in your own household? Yeah, because sometimes somebody goes out to go to a restaurant or to the grocery store or whatever, or gets on a, I don't know, whatever it is, and comes home. Can you have intimate contact? Can you kiss your kids the way you would normally, or should you try to refrain a little? And again, it's kind of like what we do in the ER. Look at a risk assessment. You know, where do they go? Are there outbreaks in that area? Are there more concerns in other areas? If there are, and they're not showing any symptoms, haven't been, uh, you haven't been confined or quarantined, what I would say is do what we used to do in the ER, or we still do in the emergency room. You come off from shift, especially if you got in, with a lot of infected people, you take your clothes off in the garage, you stick them in the laundry room, you go take a shower, and then you carry on with your family to try and protect them what as best kissing? you can. What about kissing? Yeah, the same thing. That's fine. Uh, yeah, as long as they're not symptomatic or they're not show, actively coughing or sick. Okay, so, okay. Got it. good. We got to kiss our kids, yeah, right? Okay, here's a question from Instagram. What do I do if I think I have it? Yeah. So if you think you have it, number one, you want to try and get tested. And there's more testing available now than there was a week Tell ago. Tell the symptoms again. And yeah. so the symptoms are if you have fever, runny nose, dry cough, and then if you start getting if you start getting shortness of breath, that's when you need to go to the hospital. But call ahead before you go. What kind of what, fever are you talking about? So fever, anything above 100.4 is considered a fever. And so anything above that is a fever. The higher it gets, the worse you are. Who do you call for the test? Yeah. I mean, you call your doctor, you call a public health agency? So I just actually looked on a couple of websites. Quest and LabCorp are the two big labs. And they're saying your doctor can just order the test now. It's going to okay. take three or four days to come back. Uh, what I've heard from people around the country, a doctor around the country, is it's not quite that simple, so it's still a little hard to get. Uh, you can certainly talk to your public health department. Emergency rooms can help as well. Here's a good question from Julie on Facebook. She says, if one family member begins exhibiting symptoms, does the whole family need to stay home and quarantine? And for how long? Two weeks, a week? Like so if one's exhibiting symptoms and they're tested positive, then the whole family is going to be quarantined. If they're just exhibiting symptoms, but you're not sure if they're positive, you should basically practice a self-quarantine until that test comes back just to make sure. Because if they do have it, then you so might that spread that family it. member should sleep in a separate bed. That family member should self quarantine. Yeah. If they're yeah. quarantined and they're not showing symptoms, which is what quarantine yeah. is, then they should still s sleep by themselves, have separate either bathroom or clean up after themselves, yeah. different utensils and things like that, just to protect the rest of the but family. But you could be in the same house, but just kind of keep your distance. Right. That's assuming right. they don't have symptoms. Because right. if they have symptoms, then they're isolated, which is completely different. Isolated means that we know they're sick and they're protecting them from everybody else, or everybody else is protected from them. Okay. Here's a question um, from. Kesa on Facebook, if you have COVID-19, what should you do to get better? Is it just rest, drink fluids, and wait? So if you have COVID-19, 80% only have mild to moderate symptoms. And so for 80%, that's exactly what they need, right. just a supportive treatment, which is the same thing you do for a cold. You know, the cold and flu medicines, things to bring your fever down, lots of fluids, lots of rest. Those are the things you do. Most people are going to get over it. If it starts getting worse, then they need to get medical care, and that's supportive treatment as well, up to ventilator status. If it turns into like pneumonia, that. though, don't they usually give you an antibiotic for that? Well, so this is not, for the most part, a bacterial pneumonia. This is more pneumonia from the COVID-19 itself. Oh, and so, I didn't know the difference. Yeah, they might actually get a secondary pneumonia, which is a bacterial pneumonia. They'll need antibiotics for that. But for the most part, it's not turning. It's not from a bacterial pneumonia. It's from the pneumonia from the virus itself. there's nothing itself. to do about that. There's nothing to do other than supportive care. They're trying, experimenting with some medicines, and let's hope for the best. All right, this question came from Instagram, and her handle is yellow sunshiny. Oh, so okay. her question well, is like this. Her already. Right? Is it okay just to go out for a walk? Can, it you is a, can you catch it in the air? Yeah, not only is it okay, it's great because that fresh air can really help. No, you can't catch it in the air unless, again, that six-foot distance and somebody's actively coughing within that six-foot frame we're talking about. But otherwise, fresh air is fantastic. That vitamin you. D is great. Yeah. Uh, and it, it's going to help your spirit so much. Okay. Do the UVAs, UV rays do anything to the virus? Well, the UV rays, if they're exposed long enough, should kill the virus, and that's why it's, the virus propagates more indoors than outdoors. And so that should help. But right. you know, then there's cloudy days and not as much UV right. and shade. So the more sun, the better. Right. And vitamin D is good for your immune vitamin system, D is right? Great for your immune system. Should you be taking vitamin D? Like no, not at this stage, because especially if you can get outside, it doesn't take much sunshine to get vitamin D, and most of us probably shouldn't be taking it to begin with. So okay, okay. here's what Patty Cox says on Instagram. This could be my mother. My book club has the monthly <laughs> yeah. meeting Thursday. Should we meet? There will be about 15. You know, there's that recommendation for 50, but like we talked about this morning, 50 seems to be a big number. <sighs> There's, again, that social distancing. You want to keep six feet from each other. I think now is the time for people to look at things and say, is it essential for me to do this? Yeah. If it's not essential, there's other ways you can get those social interactions that aren't including meeting 
quickly, and that's a good time to do about play dates again because I'm confused by that. So should we have play dates? Can we have another kid over to our house? What I tell people, it comes down to a couple things. One, can you actually keep them fairly separated or not interacting so much as far as the hugs and the kisses? The younger, the harder that is yeah. to do. And two, how much do you trust the, the other family members that are, that are gonna play with your child to keep their child home if they're sick? And again, children don't get it often, so they're not passing it as much, but they still can get it and they still can pass it. So it's one of those things that, you know, it's if you're gonna do it, smaller groups and playing outside is better outside. because they can get that separation. Yeah, All right. And don't let them, you know how they're yeah, all in I mean, each other's faces right. all the time. Especially yeah. the runny noses yeah. and all those things that kids, Dr. a lot of times. Thank, Thank you. you.